Avoiding Relegation and welcome to episode 1 of The Rise of Ozbelens. Um, if you saw the introduction video about what the save is about, you will know what we're doing. But just in case you don't, we're with Ozbelens. They are a Portuguese team and we're currently in the PT Portugal Championship Group E, which is of course the fourth tier for them. And uh, they have only just been promoted here. Now, they do have an interesting history. Again, that's covered in the uh, introduction video, so please do go check that out. But what we're going to do today is actually play the first game of the season. In fact, it's the first game of the save. Now, this is recorded live in front of a Twitch audience, so anything could happen and indeed go wrong. But uh, what we're going to do first, we're going to play the game, and then I'm going to give you a quick review and have a look at uh, what we're expecting to see during the rest of the season. Okay, so this is how we're going to line up for our first game, which is against Sintrents. And like I say, we are on the Portuguese Championship Group E. Um, we're going to be playing a 4-3-3 DM wide. Um, though I will, in the future, be transitioning to a 5-1-1-3 or a 5-2-3, depending on what you want to call it. But at the moment, we lack, we'll say, certain key players in certain areas. So that's what we're going to be playing for the first season. Um, one of the interesting things that I found out already is that everybody in the squad is only on a year's contract, apart from young Mr. Clay, who's on the bench currently. So it does give me a little bit of freedom come the end of the season. But like I say, this is how we're going to line up. We've got a... In goal, we've got Valverde, a back four of Zapedro, Medina, Marinero. By the way, I'm going to get some of these names wrong, so apologies. Oliveira, right back. Benny is an anchor man. Pereira and Kickass in centre midfield. Left wing is Nicholas Rice. Right wing is Atunes. And up front, it's that chap, Aruyo. Aru, Aruyo. Aruyo? Ruben. That's Ruben. Ruben is up front today. So that is the lineup we're going with. These are the players. And this is our very first game in charge of Osbalens. So let's go to the match. Okay. We're favourites for a reason. And poor old Nicholas Rice, who is actually a new signing on loan, is already nervous, so that's good. So, go and make me proud. I trust you to make a difference. I haven't really fired anybody up, has it? Alright, let us go. So that is how we line up with our seven substitutes on the bench. And St. Trent's again playing a 4-3-3 DM. So we'll see how they get on. And yeah, first game of the season. Let's go. Balence, of course, in the all blue. Oz Balence of Belém, as it is. And... Uh, Oh dear, that's slow, isn't it? Let's, let's improve the speed of the highlights a little bit. There we go. Oliveira coming forward for Balenz on the right wing. He's, of course, an attacking right back. Gets his cross in, which has been cleared for a throw-in. That still seems a little bit slow, but we'll stick with it. Because I feel like it's one of those sweet spots. If you put it up a notch, it'll be too quick. Long throw, cleared by Alves. And only as far as Nicolas Atunes. And the striker gets the shot off. Ruben, is that what I said his name was? But it's still nil nil. It's only one minute in. Oliveira with the corner. Benny picking up the loose goal. Nicholas with the shot. Saved by Garrido. I think that was his name. Struggled to catch his name a little bit there. But in these first two minutes, it has been all Osbalens. Nicholas now looking to start another counter attack. But he is tackled by Daniel Pinto. And finally, we are off. The highlights. So yeah, two shots, one on target to their one and nil. Throw in for Zapedro now. Long one into the box, but apparently, hey up! Oh, somebody's somebody fouled the player before the ball even got there. Look, we're gonna have a penalty. Great goal. We'll take it. Ruben, Ruben makes it one nil with the penalty. Well done, Ruben. But yeah, I've never seen a foul like that in Football Manager. I have never yet seen a foul occur before the ball even got there. So, I like it. That's exciting. Four shots, three on target. Today, one and nil. 22 minutes gone. And, uh... I'm going to check some encouragement down, but we seem to be doing all right. Monero struggling a wee bit, as is Rice. Rice, of course, a new signing. Yeah, poor Nicholas Rice. He was the nervous one, and it seems that he's still struggling a wee bit. So, we're up at half-time. 1-0. 
But as you can see, we've not done anything since the goal, really. Four shots, three on target there, two and nil. 1.12 XG to their 0.04. I mean, they're obviously not threatening us, but it'd be nice if we could, you know, do a little bit better. So I'm going to suggest that. I have faith in you. And then I'm going to have a quick look here and see who is needing to come off, because I really feel like... Monero, even though he's our best defender, when he's not playing very well, stops being our best defender. So we're going to bring on Andrew, Andre Serra. And I think we're going to take off Rice in favour of Clay. And that will do for now. Whoops. Pedro on a yellow, just below average. We'll see, we'll see. We'll go with the two subs now, and we'll see if we need an extra one. Before the match is over, hopefully not. Pinto with the long pass back. That's in Trent's. Set. Sarah with the head of clearance. Corner now for Balance. Oliveira to take it. Cleared. Benny's picking up the loose ball. I think it was Benny who was fouled in the box earlier. Zapedro. Clay. Is he going to get his cross in when he gets past the man? He gets a low cross and Kickass is there. First goal of the season for Kickass. That's Balenz 2. St. Trent's nil. 48 minutes gone. I'll take it. Yeah, lovely work by Clay. He did indeed get past his man. Lovely low cross onto the foot of Kickass. Kickass, of course, central midfield on attack. Getting to it ahead of our striker and, of course, our right winger. Who I'm guessing was the other man in there. Pedro. It's Cracker. Oh, Pedro, that's their, <laughs> that's their winger. That's not my winger. Atuna, sorry. I haven't, I, I haven't gotten to know everybody yet. Still early. <laughs> anyway, St. Trent's finally coming forward. Daniel Pinto, Flavio. I think this is the first time they've properly got past the halfway line and kept the ball. And Socrates now on a run down the left. Tell us, Socrates with the shot. It's a curler, but it is slightly over 63 minutes gone 2 0 still. Like I say, we do it alright. Nothing wrong with the tactics, seemingly. I mean, it is pretty much the same as what I was playing at Oldham. I have a method that's been working since FM20, which is why I want to do something different this time round. Motor coming forward. Through the middle, Socrates, Moto with the long distance shot, but Valverde is getting down to that. Valverde's not a bad looking keeper for this level. Riviera gives that one away to show you. David Tellus not pressing the advantage of having, you know, being that little bit further forward. Preferring to keep hold of the ball and looking for an opportunity to get past Balance, but. Oliveira says, no, that ain't happening. Pedro, kick ass. Sarah, Benny. Reed Pereira finds Clay. Clay's going to get to it again. Another cross. Oh, well saved by the keeper. Almost 3 0 at the 70th minute there. Oliveira with the corner. Cleared. Benny's got it. Clay. Got a little bit messy in the box there, and we've given it away. Counter-attack now from St. Trent's. Socrates on the left wing again. Keeping the ball. Lovely ball forward for sure, yeah. He looked a little bit offside, but the flag has stayed down, and it is a counter-attack for Belenz. Love it. 2-0. Oliveira with a free kick. Trying to pick out kick-ass. It's been cleared, and Martin... Martim, even. Is it Martin? Martim. Picking up Cascal. Flavio. Again, Sintrent's keeping possession. Ooh, lovely ball in front of Motor. A lot of blue in the box there to get past. And that shot goes wild. 77 minutes. Seven shots. Five on target for us today. Seven and one. They've just got an extra shot. And, oh, and they've picked up two yellow guards in two minutes. That can't be good. 
Well, I haven't used my final sub yet, and I think it's going to be Pereira. And we're going to bring on... Oh, no, I can't. I have used my final sub. My apologies, full time. It was too late anyway. 2-0 in our first game of the season. My first game in charge at Balenz. And it is a comfortable 2-0 win. Okay, so that is the match. We have won 2-0. It's our first game of the season. Obviously, pretty much a dominant performance. But if we now go and have a look at the championship, where do we sit? Well, we are down in Group E. And we are top. After the first game, we've won one. Scored two goals and conceded none, which is always excellent. So, an excellent kickoff to the season. Um, in terms of the squad, I haven't actually done any major transfers myself, other than... Uh, one right back who's not actually here yet and alone in which was Nicholas Rice who actually got his debut for us in the last match as you can see he looks pretty tasty young Brazilian right winger but unfortunately he uh, didn't put in the best performance there in his first game but that's fine once he gets used to us he'll be all right and like I say we have a right back coming because if you actually look at the squad uh, whoops um, under the assistant report we're a little bit weak at centre half. We lack a little bit of depth at right back, and we did lack a little bit of depth on the wings. If you look at the squad depth here, with it set to three stars, you can kind of see there are a couple of holes in the squad. Obviously, if I drop down the quality, we've got people coming through. We've got people with potential, and some people who uh, are on their way down as well, to be fair. But uh, like I say, we have a decent enough squad. We've got enough people. That's not an issue. But in terms of quality depth, we are a little bit back in effect. Rice Oops. is only playing out on the right side. So we'll leave that there. So yeah, that's kind of how we look. We've got a first team. We could just do with a bit more. Um, in terms of finances, that's the other thing we'll cover, actually. We're actually making money. We are a money-making club. We're not making a lot, and it's happening very slowly, and it may very well change, but currently, as things stand, we're a money making club so that's very very exciting um oh and the one last thing i want to share with you of course which i think i may have covered in the introduction video but osbalens have some fantastic facilities for a fourth tier portuguese club they actually have great training facilities and great youth facilities and, and again if you saw the introduction you know why but this is obviously going to make life a lot easier we've added an under 23 squad as well which now has one player in it who's actually 18 but he's good enough for the under 23s and obviously the under 19s that already existed we do have some interesting prospects we'll say now whether or not they'll be good enough to climb with us all four tiers i doubt it but we are going to have a go at developing in the meantime obviously this is a long-term development save so there are going to be separate videos where i actually look at what i've been doing and, and how certain people have progressed but obviously that's going to come in the future we've got to get up to the top first to really make it count so uh that is the plan but in the meantime what i'm going to be doing is releasing episodes every time i stream um albeit probably a day or two after each one will be filmed as part of the live stream and edited and put up on youtube and like i say be a couple of days behind but obviously if you enjoyed the video please do give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more but also don't forget you can come and get involved come follow me on twitch come join us tuesdays thursdays and saturdays and we're going to be taking valence all the way to the top and hopefully becoming arguably the biggest team in Europe. So, I've been avoiding relegation. This has been Osbalens. Thank you very much for watching.